Hey everybody, Sean Adams here with To Get Seen, and today we are going to be talking about the fifth stage of the client life cycle. That stage is going to be offer. Make the offer. What offer are you making and how are you making the offer? It's very important that you have some clarity on how you're going to do all that because it will make a difference on the success of it. A few things that you need to keep in mind when you are thinking about the offer. The first thing you want is what offer? What is it that you actually are going to offer them? Is it, or do you have clarity on what the offer is? Do you have clarity on what the benefits are, what they're going to get, all of those things? You need to be crystal clear on what the offer is because if you're not clear, a confused buyer never buys. So they're not clear, you're not clear, nobody buys anything, no one's happy. Make the offer, make sure you get crystal clear on what the offer is going to be. Next, when? When are you going to make that offer? You have to make sure you're making the offer at the right time to the right person because if you don't make it at the right time, if the when is off, it could be the perfect offer for them, but if you don't make it when they're ready to buy, when they're feeling that pain, when they're aware they need whatever it is that you're offering, then you're going to be less successful in closing the sale. So make sure you know when you're going to make the offer and that it's the right time. After this, the journey. This is what the client life cycle is all about. You need to clearly understand the journey that your client, your potential client, your prospect is going through so that you are making the offer at that right time and you know where they're coming from, everything they've gone through to get there. You wanna be able to track all that information. You wanna know what their experience has been up to that point because it's going to make a difference in how and when you make the offer. You have to make sure that they are hot. That does not mean that they are good looking. It means that they are ready to buy. Just because you make a good offer at the right time, if they're not ready to put money out, they're not going to buy the thing. If you, if, if you know that their financial cycle is something specific, you make it when they have money in the account, not when they don't. So you have to know what that cycle is. You have to understand when that person is a hot buyer and ready to actually spend. So that's important. Next, we talked about this in the previous video about knowing um, how to educate your clients. This is uh, knowing the objections. If you can answer those objections prior to them having it, the less concerns, the less questions, the less unsure they are about possibly making a purchase, the more likely they are to buy. Answer objections before they even come up so that they have a more confident stance when they decide to look at the offer that you make. Make sure that you have a way to convert to the sale. That's what we're going to talk about in stage six of the client life cycle, but that comes up in the next video. But this is the process of it. And then the thing that a lot of people forget, but it's very important, is what's going to happen to everyone else. Those people who don't make the offer, just because you made the offer to the right person at the right time and they were hot and they may not have bought, all of that can still happen and it may not convert to a sale. It does not mean you just toss those people aside. It means that you still get to know them, you still help them get to know, like, and trust you, you nurture them some more, you learn more about them so that you either give them a better offer, you re-offer this, you, you remake this offer at another time when they're more ready to buy, or maybe they just need a few more times of touching um, your knowledge, your wisdom, your experience to be able to say, this is what I, now I'm ready. So people may not, may need more than one experience. There's like brick and mortar stores. will get that a lot that somebody will shop, they'll look around and then they'll come back and say, no, I looked everywhere else. This is the one I want. This is normal. This happens in any business. It's okay that somebody didn't buy, but you still want to be able to c communicate with them and let them know you're still there. That long-term process of getting them to know you're still there is important. And the other thing, if you're doing, especially in the world of digital marketing and digital products, there's the what happened. If they've gotten so close that they actually clicked to the order page where they were going to pay and didn't pay, if you do a follow-up sequence on them that says, hey, what happened? You said you were interested, but it didn't happen. I want to know what's going on. That's a great opportunity for you to then kind of nudge them a little bit more and be like, you, you were that close. What happened? Was it the price? And that's where you can start um, anticipating the objections, answering them, and keep sending them back to the opportunity to buy because uh, it might be that they just had a few more objections they wanted answered. So you want to have all that stuff in place. When you That all decides when and how and where you make the offer. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to then convert it to the sale. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day.